Hi everyone, it's Mandy and I'm coming to you with another Ink Flight video. Uh, before we get started with that though, I had a couple of um, comments and emails and uh, messages about comparisons for some of the inks that I swatched the last video. So I'm going to start with Writer's Blood because um, lots of people um, seem to think that this is a dupe for uh, Ox Blood, and I wanted to show you that it is a little more on the purple side. And also I had a question about comparing it to Sailor Manyo Ume, which has a lot more sheen. The base color, I would say the base color might be more like Ox Blood, but um, it has that sheen on it, which really um, sets it off. And I compared it to a couple of others for a friend, and I don't have those cards sitting here. I've already put them away, so I don't want to dig them out, but um, I'll uh, throw a photo in here of, um, I want to say it was Monteverde Cherry Danish compared to Writer's Blood and Robert Oster Aster Kiza Rot, I think. I think that was the other, the other, um, inks that I compared it to. So if I, I don't think I deleted it. If I still have that photo, I will throw it in right here. And And um, you can see it compared to a couple of other red inks. So that's that. Um, it's definitely different than Ox Blood, but um, yeah, I would say that this is a little more darker. It seems like in my, this is a really, really old swatch card. It seems like in my experience with this ink though, it's really, really wet. Um, I have it in my uh, Sailor Angel's Delight right now and it's gushing. So this is a really wet ink and from what I remember, um, Ox Blood seemed to be a little drier for me. I haven't used it very, very often. I know, I, I know lots of people love it, but this one wasn't for me. So, um, yeah, so yeah, if, if, you know, if you were concerned that it was an exact duplicate, you don't need to be, um, yeah. So there's that. And then um, I had another question about um, Sailor 50 States Pennsylvania and how it compared to Diamine Rush Prussian Blue. Um, so I posted this on my Instagram. I actually posted uh, this on my Instagram as well. Um, it's I'm at Hello Lovely on Instagram if you wanted to see. Um, so yeah, so here's how it compares to Diamine Prussian Blue. And I figured if people are asking me in the comments and in messages other people probably want to know too so i figured that would be helpful and then i also had another request for sailor uh, texas and pelican edelstein smoky quartz um how they compare as far as i'm concerned that's the brown that's my favorite brown although this is really gorgeous i have to say um yeah so that's how they compare this is a little darker and probably not as warm not as red definitely or as orangey and definitely not sheen unless there's sheen in writing on regular paper so so yeah so i thought you'd be interested in that uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and get to the real point of us being here today and that is our ink flight i'm actually going to pull off some cards i need to get more colorings this is all that i have i have a couple of loose ones off to the side and then this is all i have left for uh coloring cards. We've been swatching like crazy. Um, and I'm sure that I grabbed too many either. So we have those. <coughs> and then we have our ink flight box, which I, here's our little stamp this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, open this upside down so we'll see what we've got. I try to guess what it is by the size of the box. Sometimes if it's like a box the size, it's a pen or a notebook. So we'll see what's in here. Um, I'm about to sneeze. I've been sneezing all day. Okay, I think we're good now. So we'll go ahead and open it. I'm so excited to see what we have. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my, the, my phone opening the box, so I can't see what we have in here. There's our box, empty now. It appears I was right about one of the one of the goodies. So here's what we have. Okay. So we have inks. 
And we have a notebook, Graffilo notebook. It's an A5. It's eight millimeter. I don't know if that means it's ruled or gridded. I can't tell. Looks like it. Oh, it's an A5. I just said that. It's an A5 size. So let's see what the paper says. <clears throat> it's a line notebook, Co Kobeha Graffilo A5 size line notebook. Fans of Japanese stationery will enjoy the East meet East Eats <laughs> East meets West connection in this month's notebook selection. Oh, it already said what the inks are. Um, yeah, so it's 68 gram paper with eight millimeter spacing between the lines. And um, yeah, cool. So awesome. Well, it already said what our inks are. And I am a very big fan of the inks. We also had, and I don't know if it said anywhere in here, but there's a little sticker. It's a little ink bottle sticker. I love this. It's so cute. So. I don't know, should we try this notebook out too? I have my Tomoe River paper. Should we see what how this takes ink? Maybe I'll write, maybe I'll do a writing sample on this one. I didn't grab the Cosmo Air paper because I just didn't feel like it. Ta-da! Okay, so we have it's the, the inks are the um, Jacques Urban, I said that completely wrong, the Essentials line, and we have Gris de Oul, which I know that I said that wrong, which is my actual, like, literal favorite gray ink. I love this ink. I received a bottle of it uh, for my birthday from my bestie. And then we have Rouge d'Orient, um, which is really pretty red. We have Blue de Minuit, which is a really pretty blue. I used this for 30 inks, I think last April, and I love it. I loved it. I love this blue. I'm so happy. Um, Violette's Boreal. Did I say that right? Probably I didn't, but purple. Blue Austral, which looks like it's a teal. Oh, I think, is that a scented one? Oh, no. No, no, no. They didn't do any of the scented ones. Oh, thank goodness. Um, Vert Amazon. And orange to light. Okay, so the only one that I think that we're missing, I think there's eight inks in that line. No, there's a couple of others. I think there's ten inks in this line. I know we're missing the black and we're missing the yellow. Two, four, six. Maybe there's only nine. I don't know. I think I have um, coloring cards for the, I have coloring cards for all of these actually, but um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them anyway because I love them. And maybe you didn't watch that video. Did, I actually don't remember if I swatched these on a video. I can't remember when these came out. Save that. <clears throat> okay. Yay. Yay. Okay, so spoiler alert, I love these. And I'm just going to reuse this uh, piece of paper as my background. I have used, actually I've used orange, the orange one. I don't think I've used this one. I know I haven't used this one. I know I haven't used this one. I have used this one and I love it. And obviously I love that one. And I ha don't, I don't think I've used this one, but I love this red too. Okay, okay, okay. As always for swatching purposes, oops, my thing's all tilted. Um, I have, I have my uh, glass tip, my Moon Man mini glass tip pen. I need to give this like a really thorough cleaning because it's gotten stained. Patches, get to birdie. Are there any birdies out? It's raining. Anyway, yes. Spoiler alert, I could tell you I love these inks. They flow really well. They're really well behaved. I know that Chris did a whole series about these inks, so I'll link her video. Um, yeah, I love these inks and I have been tempted I haven't been tempted to get the whole set, but um, the one that I wanted the most was uh, was the gray and um, also a couple of the other ones I really like. Okay, so yes, or at least that I've tried. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like all over the place. So we're gonna go in order of the sheet, which um, starts with orange filet. Get our kitty cat.
This is a really beautiful orange. Ready. It's just like a basic rainbow. Oh, I think there's a brown too. We're missing the black, the brown, and the yellow from the collection. Um, and while these are drying, I will see if I can find the cards for the other colors. But yeah, they flow really nicely out of a pen, in my experience with all of these inks. bottles of these inks are kind of expensive. I don't remember how much they are, um, but they look really nice. So um, again, while these are drying, I will grab the bottle of ink that I have and the cards for the colors that we uh, aren't swatching because we didn't receive them. Okay, I'm missing, I missed like so many spots. Like how do I miss so many spots on the card, but like Is a gorgeous orange but they should be pretty available and then next up on the sheet we have greed greed I think it, okay actually the orange this bright glowing saffron color has a vitality that will illuminate the page with its radiance it's very <clears throat> it's very bright and happy orange um, so yeah, so we have Greedool, which is a, where is it? According to the description on the sheet, on the itinerary, it says this deep, dense gray evokes the surging waves of a storm at sea. Oh, I love this gray so much. I can't even tell you. If you've been here, you know. I did this, I picked this as a 30, as an ink in 30. I think I did three or four of these inks in a 30 inks. Um, cause I was doing the random draws and this is legitimately my favorite gray. I have lots of grays and I love gray inks. Uh, I'm blaming that on creepy nims and Melissa, but, um, this one is my favorite. And it's my favorite because I love the shade of color. I don't know that it has, um, I don't know what the like water properties are of it, if it's um, like waterproof or whatever, but um, it's just stunning. And it's just a really nice, it's just a really nice gray. I think I got some orange on there, but yeah. It is, it's kind of a stormy gray, but it's just really lovely. I think everybody should try at least samples of these inks if you can get your hands on them. I know they were um, exclusive at certain places in the United, at like, I, I feel like there are more places now. I know they were exclusive to Goulet for a while, 
Um, that was the only place in the United States you can get it. I know that uh, Van Ness now sells them. Um, I, I, I think Europe, certain European stores had them for a while exclusively, but I think now you can find them more places as well. Um, these should be really easy to find. I know that I have been um, sampling inks that are difficult to find in some places um, recently, but these should be really easy for you to find. Um, maybe not samples, but the bottles definitely should be. This is a beautiful red. This is the kind of red I like. It's a little cooler. It's not so orangey. Um, Oh, super exciting. And I haven't forgotten about doing the writing sample. I'm just going to open it up and we'll do some more dip tests at the end. I don't think I've used this one in a pen yet. It's one that I kept meaning to do, but I don't need 12 red inks or 12 pens inked with red ink. So it has sat in the sample pile. Gorgeous. Definitely a cooler red, so if you prefer the warmer reds, you might not be a fan of this one, but I prefer cool tones of nearly everything, so I'm extremely pleased. Okay, next up, oh, this, uh, the description said, this passionate, intense red color is a symbol of power and antiquity. I love it. I love it so much. Next up, we have, I'm just going to say Amazon green. This is a pretty green, too. This intense luminous green is inspired by the wild shores of the Amazon in South America. See, it's a really pretty, it's a really pretty, like vibrant green. Um, I love it. To tell you how much I love this line of ink, I even like the yellow one. These inks flow super, super nicely. I um, first inked up, well I didn't first ink it up, but I had it in my um, Fine Nib uh, Lamy Studio, one of them, when I did the 30 inks. Um, I'll see if I can link the 30 inks videos too, um, or I'll put them in the description. Maybe I'll link as many as I can and then I'll put, I don't remember how many I did, um, but I'll link them in the description box too if you are interested from, um, I believe those were from April. Because in June we did Pen Friend Appreciation Month, and then September was Bottled Inks, and then, yeah, I think they were done in April. Whatever ones, I, oh, oh, shoot, did I just, I sprayed water all over the place. Hopefully I did not rip in any cards. 
But yeah, this is a really, this is a really luscious green. It seems like it's really wet. Like I said, these, these inks flow beautifully. So I wouldn't say that they're like super wet, but they just flow really nicely out of a pen. I honestly, I can't say enough things about them. I love it. I love them. I love them. Have I been clear about that? Because if I haven't, please let me know and I will try to clear up any confusion you may have about how I feel about these inks. <laughs> um, there's also, um, her name is Kelly. Her channel is Insight Hope. And I think she also, I know she got them all. I don't know if she's profiled them all, but I'll check. I'll leave links for these in the description in case, in case you're curious about um, searching more for them okay so the next one we have is the blue austral austral i'm not i'm not saying that right i know this is a enchant this enchanting deep blue evokes the turquoise waters of the south sea this is a pretty teal this is one that i've been wanting to get in a pen and just haven't not for any particular reason just too much ink not enough time I need to start one of those like handwriting projects, like like where you transcribe a book. I've talked about doing that before. Like I mentioned it once or twice where I wanted to do it. I just didn't know what book to do, but I think I'm gonna do that. This is a really dark ink. Did I grab the right one? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so we're doing what should be the last one. We're doing blue diminui. I knew that looked wrong. This deep celestial blue captures the awe of a starry night sky. This is actually my second favorite of the bunch of the, of the whole line. Well, yeah, it's an, it's, it's the dark blue that I like. And this is the one that really, I think this was the first one I actually put in a pen. I just love the, I just love the gray one just from swatching alone. I think it, I think this was the first one I put in a pen though. And it was just, I, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Look at that. I mean, this is my brush that like, takes a lot of ink but just one swipe oh it's so pretty so pretty This is another one of those like dark basic blues that's just really stunning and beautiful. Okay, now I will do the blue Austral, which is a teal. I feel like it's like kind of a greener teal maybe? Well, I don't know. So it looks like in the cap. Maybe I'll flip it over over here. So pretty. Pretty. It looks more green in the cap, but it looks more blue on the card. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. It's possible. Stunning. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy right now. Man, I love Ink Flight Day. I just love Ink Flight Day. You know this. Um. It's my favorite 
Like, I don't have, I used to have, like, a ton of subscription boxes. Not just, like, pen-related stuff, but, like, sticker subscriptions for my planner days and, like, birch box and, like, ipsy and all that kind of junk. But this is, like, when I, um was like restarting my like budgeting stuff. I got rid of everything except Ink Flight. There was a time when I wasn't subscribed to Ink Flight, but it was a really long time ago. I took like maybe a year off and um, I just kept like, they kept getting stuff that I was like, oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks cool. And so I resubscribed to it and I've just been having so much fun since I've resubscribed. I've been, I think I've been resubscribed like two years now, maybe something like that. It's just, I love Ink Flight Day. Like, I don't, I don't know. Can you tell that I love Ink Flight Day? <laughs> Even if it's ink that I've already had, like, I'm really excited about this. I have had a couple where I'm just kind of like, meh, okay, whatever about it. But, um, like, in general, like, it's just, it's fun. I like the surprise. I feel like I'm trying to sell Ink Flight. I'm really not, but I just love it. Um, I just love it. So since, um, this is going to be the last one. Violet, Violet Boreal, um, dip your nib in the vi in the violet glows of the Aurora Borealis with this dark purple ink. I haven't used this one in a pen yet, and I have to say the only reason I haven't is because I have like a gajillion purple inks and I haven't used it yet. It's really pretty. Just, it's so pretty. These swatches on this Tomoe River paper have been super generous. They're going to take forever to dry. It's fine though. Okie dokie. I feel like I didn't get as much saturated saturatedness on the teal um, card, but it's okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry and I'm going to go search for the cards for the inks colors that come in this line that we didn't get just so you can see them. And um, yeah, and then we'll do a writing sample in that notebook. I'll probably, um, I was gonna dip test all of these but I have a bunch of pens sitting here so maybe I'll just use the pens that I have sitting here and we'll test it out, see how it goes. So yeah, so that's a purple. And um, yeah, and then we'll be back um, with the review of the cards. So awesome. I will see you in just a few moments. It just stopped raining not too long ago. And look at that rainbow. That's bananas. You can see every single color, even in my phone screen. It's so bright. It's so pretty. I love rainbows. Okay, we're back. So um, I have the Graffilo notebook that we received in this um, month's Ink Flight. Um, 68 gram paper. It has really subtle um, light gray lines. And these are eight millimeter rulings. And yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little pen test. So I grabbed a bunch of different pens. I have a fountain pen in a couple different nib sizes, medium, extra fine, double broad, broad, fine. Okay, so I guess we have all the nib sizes. I have a gel pen and a ballpoint pen. And then I have a Hobonichi pen, which is also a ballpoint pen. 
and then um, yeah and then I have one of these uh, clean color dot markers uh, do I have a highlighter sitting here I don't I oh I do I have a mild liner so we'll test that out do I have anything else here that might be interesting and then I'll do a writing sample with one of the inks from our series in in a dip pen so let's go ahead and start with um, I'll start with the fountain pen since more people might care about those um, so we'll start with I'll start with the extra fine this is my Twisby Eco extra fine in um, the pastel blue color probably the last time you saw this was April 30th of last year when I um, spilled ink everywhere because um, I just recently cleaned it out so The ink is Troublemaker. This is Abalone. Next we'll do our fine, which is a vintage. This is a fine, and the ink is Parker. Blue Buck. I was going to see if I had a Sharpie lying around, but I don't, so I can't test that either. Um, medium Nib will do our Bisconti. I have changed the ink in this um, pen. Because the other ink that I was using is was Ferris Little Press Tanzanite Sky. It was just kind of dry, and I was not um, enjoying the writing experience. Um, so I decided to switch it up, and this is Deatramentis Alexander Hamilton. And then Broad Nib. Go with, these are just the pens that I had sitting here. It's number 11, the boundary between like and dislike. And then double broad. I don't remember what's in here. We'll find out. I think it's another troublemaker ink. Yeah. There we have all those. I'll do a ballpoint pen. This is a jet stream. Actually, both of my ballpoints are jet streams. So this is like a hybrid ink. This is a 1.0. They had a line of uh, pens where they were like black infused color so this is the red black they had a like green black a purple black this is an 0.5 uh um tip this is the pen you get when you order um your hobonichi straight from hobonichi it's the Every year, is the pen's a different color, and I get these with basic. I get these with everything that I order because I always order straight from um, Japan, and um, I usually switch the refills out. But the refills that I want have been sold out, or I can't get all the colors. Um, basically, since I placed the order, well, maybe maybe not since I've placed the order, but every time I go look, they don't have all of the colors, and I yeah, I don't want to pay for like a couple of refills. I'd rather just get them all. Then I have a gel pen. This is an Energel. I think this is a, it says 05, but I think I switched the refill out. Cause I prefer the 07. Yeah, I did. I just wanted the pretty body. Okay, and then we will do our 
clean dot marker. These are really cool because you can create dots. Or you can draw lines. And they're dual, they're dual ended, so you also have a fine tip. So this is the clean color dot. And this is this is the salmon color. These are actually really like useful in my planner. Um, I'll use them either as like a checkbox or if I really want to like call attention to something, um, I'll do that. And then this is the uh, mild liner, the zebra mild liner, and I just love that. I want to say that they maybe have changed the marker tip um, on these pens, or maybe it depends on where you get it. I prefer this marker tip to the super fine one. The super fine one is a little more like this, I think, and I don't care for that one as much. Um, but yeah, so there we go. And then we will pick one. I'll just grab one. Rouge de Orient. Oh, we have lots of. Let me. I'm gonna do the green one because it's March. And St. Patrick's Day and spring. And of course I get ink all over it. Okay. So much ink. There's so much ink on here. Okay. I'll let that sit down there for now. So this fountain pen ink, I should have done that first. It's probably gonna need to dry. But here's what it looks like on the back. I would say you can get some show through on this, um, on these ball points. I have a heavy hand, so I do have the ridging on the back. But nothing bled through, not even that dip pen. So yeah, this is awesome. I would say that you could get away with, I mean, nobody really writes for days with a dip pen. Um, but yeah, you can totally get away with using both sides of this paper if you wanted to. So awesome. I do see some feathering on the color dot marker, but the pen ink looks really good. All the pens look really good, the fountain pens. I don't see any feathering on the mild liner either, just um, here. Let's see. It's hard to do because I have like all my stuff here. Yeah, a little feathering here where I scribbled with the marker. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our um, inks. Okay, we did them in the wrong order, but we'll show them off in that order. The orange soleil. This is such a bright, happy orange. This orange really makes me, it makes me smile. And then we did read a hole, which I love, love, love. And then we did Rouge de Orient, which I also love, love, love. Then we had Vert Amazon. And this is where they got out of order, Blue de Minuit. Blue Austral, that's how they look together, in case you were curious. And then Violet Boreal. And here, okay, they are pretty dry. So here's the Tomoe River paper. This is like pretty basic. This is pretty basic. This like has some really excellent, um, it kind of looks velvety to me. This one also looks velvety, but you can see that it has um, some sheen on it. And that blue definitely has some red sheen and so does the turquoise you one. And then the purple has gold sheen. So yeah, 
Um, um, I know somebody's gonna ask. So if I can find, nope. That's pen friends. I know somebody's gonna ask about Lamy Dark Lilac. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Go. It's not as rich, but still beautiful. Okay, in addition to these, however, there are um there are three other inks that we did not get in this ink flight because we only get seven inks in the ink flight. We have Terra Ombre, Terra de Ombre, which is this beautiful brown color. And then we also have Amber de Baltique. And also Noir Abyssal, Abyss, Abyss, I don't know how to say that. So this is the full line of the uh, Jacques Rabanne Essentials inks. These are the ones that we got in the ink flight. These are the ones that you can also get. And as a little bonus, I went ahead and grabbed my Hobonichi from last year um, because I used a couple of these inks. Here's uh, Blue Diminui. Really pretty. I love this. This was in my Lamy Studio Fine Nib, and I loved its combination. Um, and then we had the Jacques Rabanne Nora Abyssal. I love black inks in um, Super Fine Nibs, so I use this in my Platinum 3776. Uh, with a fine nib which is really super fine so or at least super fine for me um, yeah and then I think I had a couple of others let's look real fast um, here's Greta oh I loved this so much I left this ink in this pen forever because I didn't want to use it up and I was yeah I didn't want to use it up and it just mm, so pretty. So once I got my bottle, I used that pendant like nobody's business. And here's the orange, the orange soleil. I, this ink, I know it's orange, but it really is just super sunshiny and happy and it makes me happy. And I think that was all that I used from this series on, on here. Yeah, this was the month of oranges though. Ta-da. I don't think I've used any I don't think I've used any of the others so yeah so there we go so that was a fun little thing I hope you enjoyed it um let's go ahead and look I'm not sure if, okay it didn't smear I didn't test any of the rest of these for smearing but um it's dry now so nothing but yeah that's the that's a notebook this is a neat little notebook oh I did get ink all over it so somehow ink got on it but that's fine who cares I don't care so, yeah, so this is a really nice notebook. I, yeah, this would be great as an insert or um, a journal, a little journal insert or whatever you, whatever you want to use line paper for. So, awesome. So thank you again, Ink Journal, for another wonderful ink flight. Thank you also for the um, shout out. I've gotten, I've gotten a shout out um, last month on the um, reveal so sharing the channel. So thank you. If you've come here from Ink Journal and Ink Flight, thank you so much. I appreciate having you here. Um, it's wonderful. Ink Flight, as always, is my uh, favorite. It's probably my favorite video of the entire month to do. A, because it's like content I know I'm going to make, but also I just love the surprise. I love Ink Flight. <laughs> It's my favorite thing. It makes me so happy. So anyway, so yeah, so um, I don't know if they have any boxes available. 
I will go ahead and link it in the description box if they have it. It's not an affiliate link. I just do it for your convenience if you want to sign up for it. Um, I don't get anything from it. It's not, I just, I love getting them and I want you to experience the same joy. Um, yeah, so if you have subscribed to the Ink Flight, um, I hope that you've enjoyed your Ink Flight. Um, obviously, you know, this is a spoiler alert. You're, no, you're clicking it because you want to see what's in it. But um, yeah, if you haven't joined Ink Flight and you want to, definitely check it out. If they have either full boxes or samples only boxes, I will link both of those things in the description and you can pick one up if they're available. Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this fun. And I, I had lots of fun. These are inks that I've used before and have, you know, have also swatched before, but I just love them. Um, I'll link um, the couple of videos. I'll link my 30 inks videos in case you want to see them um, live and in person. Well, not live, but you know, see them happening, see them as they're happening. Um, and yeah, awesome. And I'll link also Chris's, I'll, I'll send a link to Chris's channel on one of her videos for this series. I think she does an overview and then she does individual videos. I think, I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, so the, yeah, these are great. These are great. And I know that you can find them all over the place. So pull up the Google and see where you can get them. Um, off the top of my head, I know that uh, Goulet uh, and Van Ness have them. I'm not sure if anybody else does in the States. Um, I know there's um, retailers in Europe that sell them. These should be really easy to find. So yeah, if you're interested. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next month with another Ink Flight video. And I will see you um, tomorrow with our um, Swatches with Friends part two of Roxy's inks. So um, yeah, thank you. That keeps getting pushed. I was gonna put it up today and then Ink Flight showed up. So um, yeah, so Roxy, I'm sorry, you keep getting pushed back. We will see you tomorrow though, for sure. No questions asked. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you later. Love you, bye!